tickets for KCON are as low as $80 for one day or as high as $1,800 for all four days, but for that you get a lot of extras. Now KCON is really a celebration of Korean culture and organizers expect about 100,000 people to attend, most of them not Korean. We are 42% Asian American, and the like the lion's share of that is actually made up of like Chinese uh, Americans. The statistics for KCON may surprise you. The company spearheading the convention says only about 5% of attendees are actually of Korean descent. This is my first year here, and like I expect it to be like mostly Koreans, just because I mean it's, it is KCON, but there's a lot more diversity than I expected. We are a very diverse event and we're very happy about that. It speaks measures as to how much our world has grown and become more comfortable with each other's cultures. Part of the Korean culture involves K-pop and fans are having a blast dancing pretty much non-stop to their favorite music. Sometimes the dancing is not part of the convention. Fans just make it part of it. So our group, we're No Limits. Um, we're just uh, a Southern California-based cover, K-pop cover dance group. So we do things like this. We do like public dances, they're called. So yeah, that's what we do. We have no limits and no boundaries of what we can do. So we would like to try, like branch out and try other new things. There is Korean food to enjoy here and plenty of Korean beauty products with Booths taking up a decent amount of space on the convention floor. Uh, there are a whole lot of you know Korean companies like trying to make the best of the best of the product in the planet. So we we're trying hard, like giving a shot. So we made it. That's it. I think. Here, fans are just happy to enjoy the Korean culture and what it has to offer. I really like just the, also the dramas, like the TV shows, and especially the music, of course. And it's really good. Um, Do you speak Korean? understand the dramas. No subtitles. Toyota has a dance floor here at KCON and behind those fans you'll see a lot of people dancing just for the fun of it. You know KCON debuted in 2012 as a one-day festival with 12,000 fans. It's grown a lot in the last seven years. Hello I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.